have to store our websites, the files for our websites, in a specific folder. And the folder we have to store them in is this htdocs folder, which you can find inside of the MAMP folder. So all of our website files must go inside of htdocs. It's often best and it's really important that we organize our files inside of htdocs so that they make sense. What I suggest you do to organize your files is that inside of htdocs, you'll have a folder for each of your classes. So for this class, MED9013, you would create a folder just like this. Then inside of that folder, you would create folders for the different things. So for an example, we would have a folder called assignments. All of your assignments that you do in class or that you do for homework will go into the assignments folder. If you were trying out some uh, examples, testing some stuff, let's maybe make a folder called tests, or maybe you make a folder called lessons. So you would put your code examples in those two folders to help organize it more for yourself so that you can find things more readily. Now, if we go into our assignments folder, in here, we'll have a folder for each assignment. Each assignment will be segregated into its own folder. The important thing is to follow the naming convention for your assignment folders. You can see here the naming convention looks like this. If I was to then make an assignment for, or a folder for assignment one, I would call it assignment, assignment dash one, just like that. So again, we're following our naming conventions, all lowercase, no spaces. The only thing that we can use as a special character is a dash. Inside of our website folders, if we look at my assignment zero here, we have a few folders that we want always inside of our, our assignments or our websites in general. So you can see right here, here's my index.html file. And then I have three folders. I have a folder called CSS, a folder called images, and a folder called JS. All of your HTML files will go directly in the assignment zero folder, just where index is. All of your CSS files will go in the CSS folder. All of your images will go in the images folder. And if you have JavaScript, you can put that in your JavaScript folder. So this is the organization we're going to follow. Inside of htdocs, you have a folder for your class. Inside of that, you have a folder called assignments. And inside of there, you have an individual folder for each assignment. Each assignment will then follow this naming convention.